Hey, 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 what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Dudes. Hey, what's up, man? I got the PF Changs. Hey. Hey. hey! What's up, buddy? Uh, I groomed your poodles for you. After a few high-profile fakeouts, Foo Fighters revealed today who'd be sitting in the late Taylor Hawkins' seat behind the drum kit during their global streaming event this afternoon preparing music for concerts. Excuse me! Guys, could we just, like, I don't know, play a song or two? Something? <laughs> yeah, man. Sure, Josh. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Josh Fries joins the band with a little bit of experience. His Instagram byline lists some of the bands that he's played the drums for. You can add Guns N' Roses and Paramore to that list, but his career goes back even farther than those bands. When you were a kid playing at Disneyland, yeah. what kind of songs did you have to play? Whatever's on the radio in 85, 86, which was we played three or four Huey Lewis songs. We played some Simple Minds. Fine. We played you were some, 12. We played some Pet Shop Boys. And Josh already has some history with these boys as well. He was hanging out in the studio with Dave Grohl and Wolf Van Halen a couple weeks before Josh actually played the drums for the band during the Taylor Hawkins tribute concert in September. So today during the global stream, Josh could hit the ground drumming. While he has done his homework, Josh had some questions about how to pull off one of the band's biggest hits live. I've got a question for you and Monkey Wrench. You've been listening to some of the live stuff, and it makes, I, it just works, it sounds cool. Um, after the bridge. The last one. Better break it down. Kick drum and everything. You yeah. Talk for me. I mean, it just, because it's so, ah, the whole time, I and mean, even you, like, you see the fucking thing, and then right into the fucking, you know, it's like, yeah. it gives you a 60-second break. Yeah, let's break. do it. Now that that was cleared up, Josh was ready to impress. Jeez, Josh. Oh, hell yeah. I <laughs> I mean, Shane Hawkins speed right there. Oh. That sounds fantastic. What do you think of Josh joining the band? He seems like a very logical choice. Like, I mean, he's very experienced in general as a drummer, and he has experience with the band. The online reaction I saw today was very positive. Um, I know it must be weird for the guys. I mean, I found one part really interesting that uh, Dave doesn't say Taylor when he's explaining to Josh what they used to do at Monkey Wrench Live. And then we like, da -da 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 -da. and I would look at you and I go like, bam, and stop. And, and everyone goes, yay! And I did think, whether it was coincidence or not, that it was a really nice gesture to have a Dave facing Josh during the jam session. It gave me the sense of inclusion. Instead of Dave having his back to Josh the whole time, I thought, yeah, it was a really nice formation that they did it like that. And yeah, who knows if they did that on purpose or not. But yeah, what are your thoughts on Josh joining the Foo Fighters? Oh, hell yes. Much better. Yeah, there we go.